on its moving day. We've got the car is all packed up, and then we've got Chinzia here. Are you alright back there? <laughs> I think she's got her AirPods in, so she can't hear me. We're driving to Manchester. How long? We've been driving for about hour and a half, so we're almost there. We've got about 40 minutes, I think. I don't really know what to say. Um, all I can say is, I don't really know. I don't really know. I'm just very nervous, but we're just focusing on getting there, and then we can figure out when we get there. I just don't know. Because mum was supposed to move us in, but she's not feeling too well. So I've had to leave her, honey, and Marianne at home. So it's only Chitter and Dad today. We're about 10 minutes Continue away. Continue Yeah, just go straight down, straight over. Yeah. Cool. We're about 20 minutes. No. Okay, here it says we're 10 minutes away. It's literally. Oh, you keep shaking, I'm sorry. It's actually down this road. I don't actually know how to feel. I feel like I've been waiting for this particular moment now for the whole year. Like, my whole year has been leading up to this moment. And I just can't believe it's actually happening. Like, I just thought it just wouldn't ever come around. Because it's just been such a long wait. But now it has, and it just doesn't feel... It doesn't still feel real yet. Stay in the right three lanes. And just like that... I am all moved in, I am all unpacked, and I'm here, and I've had my first night. Um, yesterday, whoa, can you hear that music? Just shut the window, bloody hell. Yeah, it gets a bit loud when the windows are open. But yesterday was the most hectic day um, of my life. Let me sit down because my arm keeps hurting. Okay, I've stood up by my window and it actually works quite well. Let me sort my hair out. Okay, hello everyone, welcome to the moving in vlog. Let us go. I have been anticipating this very moment for a whole year. And why am I getting, like, I don't know why I keep getting emotional, but I don't know why I'm getting emotional when I'm talking to you, but I just can't believe I'm here. Like, I moved in yesterday, it was so overwhelming. So, I didn't, um, apologies for not vlogging my room before, but I will insert, like, a picture of my bed before. Um, and I'll give you a full room tour. Let me just sit down and have a chat. So, I moved in, I unpacked all my stuff. Like, unpacked all my kitchenware, which literally took ages. Like, it took us all day. We got here around half one, and we finished unpacking probably around, like, three, half three even. I don't even remember. And then, obviously, we were so hungry. So, there's, like, a big, there's a big supermarket, like, literally just backed on to my flat. Like, literally a one-second walk. Went there, got some food, and then I also got, like, a few supplies for the kitchen. Like, I got some butter, some eggs, some milk, some bread, you know, the, the standard stuff. Just to, like, keep me going for today. And then I came back to the room and I said bye to dad and chin and I just, I just couldn't, like, I just couldn't. I've only seen my dad cry once um, and he cried yesterday so that was a pretty big deal and it just sent me over the edge. I just couldn't, I just, I just can't, like I just can't. And then I turned around and Chinsy was crying. I was like, Chinsy you're literally coming to see me on Thursday, like it's fine, like it's completely fine. So then they left me on my own in my room. Like, I was literally like, what, what do I do? It was a very emotional day. Very emotional day. But I'm here, I'm packed. I'm sorry for the lack of vlog content. I just, I just didn't pick up my camera. I was so overwhelmed. And this has been such a long process, like, as I keep saying. So I was literally, like, just dumbstruck that I was actually here. Like, I couldn't, I couldn't get my head around it. And I still can't get my head around it. I don't know why I look like I'm about to cry. Oh, I still haven't probably said it in, but, but I live in a flat of four and all girls and they're so lovely. I met them yesterday. They're all super, super sweet. Get on really well. They're really chatty, really friendly, really nice, really lovely girls. So I'm happy about that. I'm happy with my room. I've made it look so cute. You've probably seen it on my Instagram stories, but I'll give you a full tour. Like I made sure 
to make it like colourful and bright so it feels like cosy and homely. Kitchen, I'll show you it. It's alright, yeah, it's nice, standard. Um Maddie. So last night I continued unpacking. I hadn't unpacked all my clothes, but I've done that now. Um I sat with my roommates, I chat with them, and then I went out to see Maddie who obviously is in Manchester that you probably know if you've been watching me. She literally lives a uh, two minute walk down the road. She's living in her own uni house now. She moved out of accommodation and she could not be closer to me. So that makes me feel way more comfortable and just like I have, I have someone in the city to, I don't know. <sighs> but we went out for dinner last night and then we got quite drunk. I'm a bit hungover and then I had to wake up this morning at 10 and I had like a welcome it what I thought was a zoom call it wasn't a zoom call it was like a welcome package on even know 10 to 11 and it was just pre-recorded videos so I watched them at 10 which I could have done later so I had to get up really early for that so that's great and I made some breakfast and now got ready and I'm talking to you guys <sighs> I was just sat in my room like on my own, like I just didn't feel real yet. But let me give you a talk. Okay. I didn't realise my room was gonna be this big. Like I was shook when I walked in. Okay. So this is my door. This is the view when you come in my door. Okay. So I've put the clothes horse here and with my towel and I'm wearing that today. And then I've got a little bookshelf with my pastel folders which are from Wilco some candles that you probably saw in my vlog the glass thing and then i've just got like like hair stuff and like electronical things but all these need to be like put away properly or like put into boxes but i just haven't organized that yet so that's why it looks like that got my bin and then this is my desk um it came with this chair but i'm thinking let me move around here because it's more like i'm thinking i'm gonna move that and put my own chair there but it's actually massive this desk and then i've got my pens oh my god this lovely book that sophia got me for my birthday she cut out loads of photos and made me a lovely collage so i've got that on my desk i've got a picture of me chin and mao i've got this i took this from home this was my um makeup mirror and then i also bought this one from ikea so i feel like i'll put one in the bathroom like a smaller one but i'll decide which one? My glass, because I had some water. And then these pink tins, which I put like all my notepads in and stuff, which will just be used for storage. And then I've got, of course, my candles. And then this cute little photo of me and all the girls on my 20th. And then the IKEA plant that broke. But mum fixed it, look. It smashed. Oh, yeah, look, she fixed it. She's, oh God. Focus. she's a miracle woman and then i've got this ugly blue board but i've had loads of dms saying how i'm going to cover this so i'm going to cover that make it white because it's like ruining my pastel vibes okay and then here is the bed let's get a full shot of this this is my little rug which i could have got the bigger one now if anyone saw the debate in ikea i could have got the bigger one um my cute slippers and my i don't think this is a double bed i think this is three quarters um, this throw is from Ikea and these bed covers are from Asda for everyone's asking and then I put a plant there But I might put like another photo frame on there and like some other cute bits and then I've got a little bedside table Where I've had a tea this morning Eye mask photo bedside table which is from bedside light which is from Wayfair a little plant I think that's the Asda one my laptop and I'm gonna put my iPad down here And then I've just kept some food down here just in case I get hungry and I can't be asked to go into the kitchen. Oh shit, yeah, the bathroom. Why does it keep going out of focus? Okay, and then you come around this corner and you've got two doors. So this one is my wardrobe, which I'll open. So I've got, oh, I've got like a rail, which I need some more hangers today, so I'm gonna go and get them from Sainsbury's. I've got some storage up there, so I'm keeping like all my electrical equipment. And then there's spare pillowcases, and then that's like a travel bag. I've got tops, bottoms, jumpers, and then I need a bag, I need like a nice cute basket to put like my underwear in, and then that down there needs to be hung up, so I need more hangers, and then under that white thing I've got some shoes, but I need to move that. <sighs> cute wardrobe, and then finally the bathroom, toilet, shower, which I had a shower today, that's why I need to pick that up, oh. 
my hair thing. But basically yesterday, when I was unpacking, I just put my toiletry bags here. But I think I'm gonna move like a, some glass parts and make it look really pretty. But I just haven't organized that yet. So I'm, I'm just leaving these for the mean by. And then I've got a sink and then like a, what is this? A handrail with all my towels on. And a nice lime green decoration. And then we've got this big mirror, which actually has really good light. Look, you see this light for selfies? I'm impressed. That is my, oh God. Why am I keeping stuff in my eye? That is my room tour. Um, I've got my extension cord under my bed so I can plug multiple things in. Um, but I'm just been settling in. I slept in this bed last night, obviously. Where else would I sleep? That is a really bad angle. Just weird to like wake up and like be on my own. Like I'd always like go downstairs, have a cup of tea with mom, like sit with honey. And I didn't, like I was just like on my own. Like it was just so, like the weirdest thing. Like it, it hasn't even, it just hasn't sunk in. It hasn't sunk in at all. I don't know. I don't know, I'm not free all. But basically my lectures don't start for two weeks i've got two weeks of induction so i don't have any lectures for two weeks so i'm like chilling but let me show you let me show you more of the flat i haven't actually told my roommates that i'm on youtube yet I haven't told them. so hopefully they're not in there because i'm gonna have to explain what i'm doing but i'm sure we're gonna have a pass tonight tonight Mum made me some, oh I didn't tell you, Mum book made me some pasta sauce and she gave me like four tubs, four tubs serves four people, so what's, how many servings of pasta is that, four times four, 16, that's 16 servings of pasta, I was like fuck it, so I was like oh let's have pasta night, so that's happening, so maybe I'll tell them then, and then you walk in this door, and this is the kitchen, We've got like a little breakfast bar with two stools and nice cupboards, little kettle, microwaves there, and then this is the fridge where we all have our own drawer. This one's mine. So I've got allocated this one. Obviously my sauce is in there and then I've got some more sauce in the freezer. And then this is my little, what's that shelf called? And then this is my cupboard, obviously with all my cute little bowls and plates in. Dad actually smashed one of those wine glasses yesterday, so I've only got one now, so thanks Dad. And then I put like my pasta, tea towel, tea, all of that. And then up there I've got some cereal, oil and stuff like that. And then this is my drawer, yeah it is. So I've just got like all my utensils, knives, forks, all of that. And then I also have this one, which has got like my saucepans in, yeah, and some like more bowls and some bin liners. And this is the hob. The kitchen is cozy and it also doesn't have any windows. So it gets really hot in here. Like I'm in literally a little top and jeans and I'm sweating already. So when people, when I know like two people are cooking in here, it's gonna be so hot. We can't even leave the door open because if we leave the door open for more than one minute, the fire, like the fire alarm like sets it off. So that's great. I might have to buy a fan, put in here. That concludes the little flat tour, but I will take you along with me today. So I'm gonna meet Maddie, we're gonna go into town. I need like, I forgot like my moisturizer and like stuff like that, like my cellar water, I don't have any. I was like, what, what am I doing with my life? So I need stuff like that. Then tonight, chill with the flatmates and have a little pasta night. And then, I don't know, we need to like talk. I know we've met some people that live above us, but I've only met one. So we need to like see who lives near us. So I feel like that is tonight's mission as well. We need to make some more friends, you know, just outside the flat. But I feel surprisingly okay. Like, yeah, I keep saying it hasn't sunk in, but like I'm not crying every day because I'm happy to be here. Like it's been so, I keep saying this, because it's been such a long process, I've had so much time to prep myself for this. And now it's finally come, I'm like, ah, oh, I'm doing it, like, I'm fine. Like, yeah, it's kind of hard to adjust because I'm not on my own and, like, mum keeps ringing me, like, FaceTiming me, like, every hour <laughs> just to check in on me and and then she shows me honey and it's it's sad. But at the same time, I'm happy. I'm happy to be here. Like, I'm finally in Manchester. Like, how, how many times have I spoken about, like, I'm going to live in Manchester and you need this and you need that and you need that and it's finally here. Like, I am baffled 
but I'm really happy and I can't wait to show you more of what I'm gonna be doing. And also I have a heater in my room, which I was sweating last night and then I forgot that it was on. So I've just, I've just turned it off, but it's still hot. Look, there's a switch there. I don't really know how to work it. I called mum and she said just turn it off. So I have, but it's still hot. So that's great. The road right there. If I leave the windows open, it gets really loud. Okay, I'm gonna meet Maddie at two. It's now half one, so. I need to finish getting ready and then head over to Maddie. So in town with Maddie now. We've got this one with me. <laughs> We've literally been together for 24 hours. 24 hours. But I mean, we're going to be inseparable for the whole year now. But we're just going to Three years. Three years. Oh yeah. She's way ahead of me. Um, we're just going to do a little bit of shopping now. Maybe get a coffee. We're just taking some cute Instagram pictures by this building, you know. We like our white aesthetic. And also, I didn't realise there was a flight club in Manchester. Did you realise that? I don't even know what flight. We're gonna have got. to go. It's there's one in London, and Sophia says like you play darts and like get drunk and do cocktails and like play games. Good for double dates. View. Okay, so I need to pick up some toiletries from Boots. My hair looks crazy. Um, Urban. Oh my god, I want this jacket that Molly May was wearing. That was so nice. <laughs> I want that, so I'm gonna go into Urban because I went into my Urban in Nottingham, couldn't find it anywhere, but ours is tiny. He's He's lying. lying. Um, and then I want to go to Zara. I need a leather blazer. No, and I bought Zara's some. so nice. Probably the queue's really long though. <laughs> <laughs> I bought some leather leggings the other day in Zara and they've already broke. The zip broke. So I'm going to take them back. So I've just got. I need another pair of them and just see what I can find. So, you know, we need some autumn winter outfits because I'm literally in a top and jeans and a shirt still. I'm in gym leggings. And it's end of September. Like, I need, yeah, we need on. to get our shit together. Okay, we are at lunch now. If anyone is an OG, me and Maddie, I've loved me and Maddie here like October time. We're at a little cafe called Evelyn's and it's literally empty. I think it's because this is a weird time to have lunch. Okay, it's four o'clock. No, but it's Okay, so I just ordered some avocado and poached eggs, even though it's 4 o'clock. We should have a late dinner. Look how cute. Here we go, here she is. This is all the damage done. I, I splurged a lot in Zara, I'm not gonna lie. I just found a lot, but I'll give you a haul when I'm back and then we'll give you a boots haul as well. It's just so hot in the shops. And I had two bags and we had our mask up. I find it so difficult to vlog. But um, I'm back now. So look, this is what the decor looks like. It's like you're in a, I don't know, a lot of greenery, a lot of plants. Sweet. Okay, our avocado has come, but it's in this like bowl and it's actually quite small. Look at that. It's really hot. We're really kind of struggling to it's eat really this. Hot. Like I'm just, I'm confused why this didn't come on a plate, but it's got like breadcrumbs in it, but it is lovely. Really delicious. And we're just discussing past tonight, aren't we? And what time we're gonna come. And Maddie's gonna bring the cheese. I love that. Parmesan. Okay, I'm back now, and I'm just gonna do a little haul of what I bought because I didn't vlog. So I first went to Boots. Let me put this on the floor. I went to Boots. Actually, let me set you up. There's nice, cute backgrounds in my room. At home, there was no cute backgrounds, but look. Look at this cute background you're gonna get. Okay, I've got some like big face cotton pads. Who knew? They're cosmetic large pads. Look how big they are. Who knew? So I bought them. Some Vaseline. And then I picked up some razors. Because, you know, you girls go to. And then I also got some CeraVe moisturising cream. Which was £9. I was like, fucking hell. But I was like, I couldn't find another moisturiser. And I know CeraVe is good. And also, look how big it is. Like, it will last me. But this is... It just says moisturising cream. The actual facial cream was like £15 or like £12. So I was like, I'm just going to get the cheaper one because it's essentially the same thing. Um, yeah, that was my boots haul. Just boring bits. Oh my lord. Let me get the Zara bag. Movie bag. I got a gift card for my birthday. Mum got me a gift card. So I went a little bit crazy, crazy, crazy. Right, okay. Like I said, I picked up these leather leggings again because my zip broke. So I took my other ones back and I got another pair. Um, I also picked up this top. It's like cream. It's almost like, it's like a cream.
cream knitted one and it's got shoulder pads which i have never worn shoulder pads but i thought that's like kind of the vibe isn't it for this autumn winter so i was like i'm gonna get it and then it like comes in at the waist so i'm like maybe with like even the leather leggings or like jeans so there's like a cute blazer this could look cute so to try that on and then i saw this oh i did try this on when i went to london and i loved it and then i saw sophia bought it and it looked amazing on her so i'm gonna treat myself new new blazer we love a leather blazer so it's this like gorgeous mauve color and i got an extra large because i wanted it really oversized and it's nice thick quality nice lining really long really happy with that um and then it's chintzy's birthday this weekend and she's gonna come up with sophia and olivia so i bought this cute little dress for her and it's fake leather and i just thought it's cute i always like my rouge rouge ruching so i thought this would be the perfect little dress so i need to try that on and then yeah oh that's it i saw a little oh god i was gonna get a little pink like mini bag but it was 30 pounds and it didn't even have a strap so it was literally you just hold it and i was like you know what i can't justify 30 pounds on a little bag but that's on my wish list it was adorable it was giving me like the pink pink Prada bag vibe so i was like i have to get it but i resisted but that's on my wish list if i'm gonna do an order but anyway i'm gonna take my makeup off now have a shower and then it's pasta night tonight, which I am cooking, so I can't wait for that. I was going to nip out to Sainsbury's and get some... I didn't do my food shop today. I was supposed to, but I've just got back now and it's half five. I'm like, I don't want to go. I don't want to go out again and go to Sainsbury's. I don't have to carry on the bag. It's just long. So I'll, I'll do that tomorrow morning. But I was going to get some like meatballs and garlic bread, but... But I haven't. We'll save that for the next pasta night. <sighs> anyway, I'm just going to chill. I think Liv's going to ring me. But I've had a really nice day. I was walking around Manchester like, I live here. Like, I live here. Well, me and Maddie were talking at lunch. Like, I've never been... It's just, like, the weirdest sensation because, like, I'm walking around and I'm going out for brunch and then I don't, like, go back to a hotel room or, like, I don't go back onto the train. I go back to my own place, which is... It's, it's, it's just weird. It's like, oh, let's, like, we'll, let's go home now. Like, it's just weird, like... It hasn't sunk in yet. Juices, do, 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 do. Okay, it's a little bit longer now, a little bit while later. I've taken off my makeup with my amazing cotton pads that are really revolution, revolutionary, revolutionized the way I take my makeup off. But past the night was a success, wasn't it? It was yummy. We had, oh God. We had all the girls on the flat, we made pasta, we sat in my room, we chatted, it was really sweet. But obviously you just didn't want to shove the camera in their face, do you know what I mean? But it was really lovely, and because I cooked, they're washing up, how sweet is that? Are they washing up? Yeah. Aww. I was like, oh, let me go and do the washing up before, before I get ready. They were like, no, 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 like, you cooked, and we'll wash up. Aww. so sweet but i'm gonna do my makeup now because we're gonna go for a couple of drinks all of us maddie's already ready change oh she look cute oh i look good though she do be cute uh, i'm gonna do my makeup and then we're gonna head out um really weird about this hold on really weird about this flat so basically we have a flat opposite only one flat opposite and then there's two above us two below us and then two on the ground floor that's like a lot of flats that's like four people per flat and we i haven't seen like i haven't seen many people at all i think i saw like one boy earlier that was it and then i saw an older and more mature student walking around as well like i haven't seen anyone and i'm a bit baffled like because we went to go out and like, try and bond with the other flatmates but I can't find any so I don't know what was happening with that oh, I wanted a new um foundation you know ever since I went to LA I bought the beauty blender foundation you probably saw it in one of the vlogs and I couldn't rebuy it because 
I couldn't find it in the UK and then it was long to order it because I don't want to order small foundation. But they have it in Selfridges in Manchester. So that is a mission. So I'm going to go to Selfridges. I need to go to Selfridges one day this week. Yeah, sure. Because I need to get Chinta a present. Yeah. Like present. yeah. When are you in lectures? Well, you're busy anyway, Thursday. What time is it actually Friday? I mean, Thursday. 10 till 12. <gasps> no, 10 till half. No, I finished half one. I can meet you in town, I'm ready for home in town. Let's do it. Let's do Thursday. Because they, they'll come up like later Thursday so mm -hmm. I can get a present. Mm -hmm. Chinsia, I'm going to go and get your present. I need ideas, people. I was going to get like a, like some special jewellery, but I don't know. Because she. I'm stuck. But I'm going to go and do my makeup now. And I'll report back when it's done. Okay, I am ready. Um, this is this lighting's really fog. Basically, I just have one light in my room, look, and nowhere else. Even though I've got my bedside table, like this bright white light kind of kills the mood. I'm gonna get like a nice light for my bed. But I'm all ready now, and I'm wearing this. This is actually the same top from I wore last night, but it doesn't matter. I don't have to talk about that. And then these are the trousers I bought today. Let me show you. My little Zara leggings. I'm here with Madison and Gwen. You gonna say hi? Hey. Hello. Are we oh my god, I'm not really brunette. The light's it's awful. Awful. Isn't it? This light is so I feel like hard. I look so... I feel like I'm like at a studio <laughs> light. Yeah. It's horrible. But we're gonna just go out for a couple of drinks, aren't we? Just down, down the road. road. Like just a little bit tipsy. Down the road, it's literally five seconds. <laughs> it's literally two steps and we're there Hello? at this spot. <laughs> But I, I won't bring the camera because. Aww. I bring my phone now. No, I bring, my bring, phone. Bring, bring all that. Bring, bring, bring a stand, bring everything. So I'll be like, I'll just stand it up and make friends. I'll be like, does anyone want to be in my vlog? Please. Ooh. Should we do outfits? I feel like I look really like. This is, I wear pink every day. And then I got my outfits on. And your nails. Yeah, and yeah. Pink is my full outfit of the day, huh? So this top is from Zara, <laughs> North Face. And I got Zara jeans on. And I got pink. And like horses. This. Then little, she do be wearing Prada. That is so dark. She do be gorgeous. Come on, go and give us an outfit. Right, okay. Top shop. Top shop. Thanks. <laughs> and Aso. Very nice. Very nice. We like it. Oh, and then I'm just wearing my collusion shirt. Even though the girl said bring a jumper, she's cold. Yeah, bring them just. So I'm gonna bring this black hoodie. So I'm all in black. Um, keys, bag. And we're all ready to go, ladies. Let's Let's go. Go. Got my phone. Key. See you later. I don't feel very well. I am so hungover. This is a joke. I honestly don't have the energy to even speak or tell you what happened last night. Or don't know, like tell you not not what happened, but like tell you what I did last night. I wanted that money made bomber. I literally can't stop thinking about it. Just went on Urban website now and it's sold out. They've really got a small. Who wants a bomber jacket inside small? <laughs> oh, okay. I am gonna go back to bed. I'm sorry, I don't think I've ever looked this rough before in my whole life. Like, all my eyes are red. Like, what the hell? What is wrong with my face? Um, I've literally been in bed all day it's currently half three and we me and all the flatmates were like oh yeah oh yeah like we'll go do a big food shop at sainsbury's tomorrow like we want some things for the kitchen like we want a draining board we haven't got a bin in our kitchen we want to buy a toaster so we're all gonna like chip in and like go shopping and then obviously i need to do my food shop as well and we're like yeah we'll go at 11. safe to say no one was awake for 11. like i I didn't even think I drank that much last night. I honestly don't. Okay, the rundown of last night. There is two pubs. One's called 256 and one's called the Studio Bar. 256 is like this cute little beer garden. We couldn't get in there. So we went to Studio Bar. Like, it was fun. It was a bit quiet. So then we walked over. We walked over to the Fallowfield Campus. Is it Fallowfield Campus? I don't fucking know. I have a pub like on the campus so we went there it's called squirrels not gonna lie it was a, a week it was quite weird like it's 
the building was quite weird it's like it wasn't a pub it was literally just tables in like a big sports hall that's all i can describe it like i was in a sports hall like there was hoops it was it was so the weirdest building i've ever been in like it just felt like a school like somewhere where you'd have a school disco anyway so we had quite a few drinks there and had some fun i think everyone was so lovely you have to stay on your tables to stay in like your section that you get you get like a tape section you have to stay in there but then you can still like talk to the other tables just at a distance so it wasn't that bad we made some friends like it was cute cute night i didn't realize i drank that much but this morning oh my god no but yeah i had a really fun night actually i feel very settled already very quickly like it's only tuesday but I don't know, I don't even know. But I think waking up, going to bed and waking up are the hardest bits because like, you're on your own and usually like I'm just not I'm just not used to it. I'm used to being like going downstairs, like having a busy house. Like, of course I'm going to see my flatmates in the kitchen, but most of them are asleep anyway when I wake up. But it's that is I'm finding hard to deal with at the moment. But like it'll get better it's fine it's not too bad it's just i think i feel comfortable and settled because i really love my room like i really love it look it's so cute i've made it really cute and really homey and i just feel really comfortable which i love like imagine if i didn't like my room like where would i like hang out like i i want to come back here and like chill in my room because it is so cute and so pretty so that makes a massive difference but we're gonna go off to Sainsbury's now and i might bring you i'm going with my flatmates and i haven't told them i'm on youtube yet so okay i'm not gonna lie it's been a it's a lot while later i went to Sainsbury's. i didn't vlog i actually bought my camera but it was packed of students and i was like oh my god I don't want to get my camera out in the middle of this. So I chickened out. I do apologise, but I will give you a haul. So I've put stuff away. So I'll go and show you. But oh, in this bag, this is like for stuff for my room. I got a little notepad because I've only got big ones. And I like, like doing my food shop on here or like planning out my weeks, you know, with like um, YouTube, like all my video ideas and stuff like that. So I got a small one. And then I just bought some crisps, which I'll put in my cupboard. And then in this one, oh my god, yeah, who knew? I just got some alcohol for the week. But look at this, Copperberg Rosé. And it's like rosé coloured. Like, what the fuck is that? So we got, I got one to try. And then I just bought a normal Copperberg because I don't know when we're going to be drinking again. But they're just backups, do you know what I mean? So I'll put them... <laughs> I put them over here. Ooh, oh my god, that was close. With this wine that I bought for the girls on Saturday. I don't even know if that's a good wine, but it was a good colour. So I picked it up. I literally spent. Okay, let me update you. So this morning when I was making some toast. We don't have a toaster. Oh god. I don't know why I didn't vlog, didn't vlog that. That was silly. I don't have a toaster, so I just put it in a pan with a little bit of butter and like almost fried the bread. And then I got loads of DMs like, you should have used the grill. And I was like, I didn't realise. So that was one thing. We don't have a toaster. And then also now, the fridge has stopped working. I mean, I took the butter out of the fridge today and it was like melty. But I just thought that, well, it wasn't melty, it was soft quite soft but i just thought like maybe i'd left it out for too long while i've been cooking and then it went really melty so i didn't clock that it was the fridge but one of my flatmates said that like her milk went off and like it's on and it works it's just not really cold it's like sort of cold but not cold enough and it's on the highest setting so we'll have to get that sorted out but I'm going to make dinner now. This is, this is more of like a chilled evening. Because I've been out two nights in a row and I am dead. Like I can't hack that. I really can't hack that anymore. I am getting old. So I think we're just going to have like a chilled night. I'm not drinking though. But I'm having salmon for dinner which I will... I'll take you in there and I'll show you what I bought. Okay, so I picked up this bowl. And then I also got a matching plate there. Which this is what I wanted from... 
ikea like this speckled thing but obviously they already had these two mini plates so i bought a bowl this is for like pasta because i don't like eating pasta on a plate and i completely forgot and then i also picked this up oh my god look at this pokey oh my god focus this camera's shite look pokey sauce and i was like oh my god i'm gonna make some pokey bowls so i bought this it says it's a mixture of soy sauce of sesame oil which is what i put on my prawns anyway so i thought i'd try this out some honey to put on my salmon tonight i got another pack of pasta um i got some sweet chili two packs of rice some soy sauce and then i'll take you over to the fridge which is not working whoa that was close pick up because i didn't want to buy a block um i got some grapes i got some spinach to go my salmon tonight i got some more pasta which is silly now, I don't know why I bought more pasta, but whatever. And then I picked up some little goo pots, because these are my favourite, some tomatoes. I already had the cucumber, and then my salmon is in there somewhere. Actually, let me get that out, because I'm going to make that now. And then I picked up an avocado for breakfast tomorrow. Oh, and I also got some halloumi, just in case I want, like, halloumi fritters. Or, like, when Manny comes round, when someone comes over, I can make them halloumi, yeah. And then I picked up two bits of salmon. I'm just FaceTiming mum. Because, oh, hello. Oh, hello. How do you work the oven? I'm struggling. What? I don't know how to turn this oven on. So I put the switch on. And then there's all these buttons. And I don't know what to do. Yeah, right. So that, that's like the positions um, of what you want on. Well, I just want... The do you want the grill on, the oven on? The oven. Um, yeah, so... Should be um should be something that, that you can select for oven. Well there's like a fan. Yeah, like, hey. There's a fan. Fan. Or is that the oven? What and then how long how what um I mean, that's the temperature but Yeah, what do I put salmon on for? Uh about one one eighty. Come on. Yeah, I can hear it. On, see if it's on the oven. Yeah, I can hear it. Well, just put your hand in it and see if it's hot. Yeah, it's getting hot. So I've sorted out the oven situation. It is now on. Okay, tonight I'm going to make some salmon, just for me. Um, and then I'm going to put some soy sauce and honey on it. Because that's what mum makes it with, and it's really nice. I'm going to have it with some spinach. And then I bought some basmati rice from Sainsbury's today. Um, this is actually so good because it's just microwavable. So all you do is cut the top off and then put it in the microwave. And that's it. You don't have to like mess around with a pan on the stove. So this is what I buy and it's the best. Okay, so my salmon's got like four minutes left. And I'm going to put on some spinach that I bought today. I don't know why. Wait, what day is it today? Spinach goes out of date tomorrow. I don't understand that. But can spinach go, can spinach go out of date? I don't even know. I put like this much. That's like half the bag, you know. Look at that. I do be a little chef. I mean, look at this gorgeous meal. Do you not want to eat that? Let me grab my iPad. Ugh. But the plan is for tonight. I don't think Maddie's coming over anymore. She doesn't feel very well. But we're just gonna. Made some friends in another block with some girls, so we're gonna go and see if they wanna do something tonight. Socialize with the other flat because I've knocked on right. You know when I couldn't figure out the oven, I knocked on the flat beside opposite and the and the flat upstairs, both of them, and none of them answered the door again. This is actually the third time I've knocked on. I don't know if they can hear. They can't hear me, or they're just like don't want to answer the door but like i genuinely needed help out of the oven because none of us has made the, in the oven yet like we've only used the hob so no one picked up no one answered again so like, i'm a bit i'm a bit shook so i don't know what i'm gonna do about that we're gonna have a nice night with the girls oh. lovely noise we love that. Pro tip, if you like salmon, put honey and soy sauce on it. I know it sounds like a weird combination, but when it's cooked in the salmon, it gives it so much flavour. It got way too hot in my room. <gasps> got the hiccups. Why's my... <gasps> Bloody hell, why's my face look so red? I just have one of my goo pots. 
naughty um but now i'm just like sat here i think i'm gonna have a shower do my makeup i don't really know like how to feel because like this is not like this uni experience is n obviously not the same i should be like going out every night different events meeting way more people i mean i've met i haven't even met a lot of people like and i just feel i don't know why i almost feel like i'm missing out but i'm like missing out on what like i, I don't like there's no i there's like no barely any fresh events what am i gonna do walk around campus like try and make a friend like i went out two nights do i want to go out again tonight no i'm really hungover like i need i don't know i really don't know what to do Like I do feel like I'm missing out and I'm not like making the most of it and like taking advantage of everything but it's like I, I don't know what to do I'm a bit it's very overwhelming it's very it's very overwhelming is this in focus my flatmate is making pasta so I'm gonna go and sit with her have a nice chat I'm not gonna put them on the channel yet and also I don't I've only shown you snippets of this week. Like, I've not shown you anything with my flatmates, really. Just because I don't want to shove a camera in someone's face. Because, like, we're all settling in here. And now it's like, oh, like, a camera. Do you know what I mean? It's not... It's just not the place. But, like, we do get on really well. We've been having the best times. I just haven't been documenting it. So, I don't want any comments like, why do you never... Why are you never with your flatmates? I'm with my flatmates a lot um but i just don't show you and there's a lot that you don't see because this is what like a half an hour 40 minute vlog of three days do you know what i mean you need to take that in perspective so i'm gonna go now